Greetings, greetings, fellow anime gamers, and once again, I'm coming at you with some exciting Vita news. You know what I love to do? What one of my favorite things to do in the whole wide world is? Remaking videos. Yeah, I just love doing that. I love putting all that time and effort into a video a few months back and then find out I have to redo the whole entire thing because more updates became available for it. Yeah, it just sets me free, guys. It's just one of my secret passions, don't you know? All right, so what the heck am I talking about? Well, I already had made a news video for this back in, I want to say, December, back when it was a rumor and we weren't sure if this was coming out or not in English or even sure about a release date. I went through all that trouble, kind of like Nurse Love Addiction, got everything ready, other news videos got in the way, and lo and behold, now that it's ready to come out, I find out I gotta redo the whole entire thing. Man... Life is good. Stop complaining and get on with the video. So, before I go crazy here, I just wanted to let you guys all know that PlayStation Vita game Super Robot Wars X, or 10, or however you would say it, is going to be coming out on Play Asia on April 26, 2018. It's going to be the Asian English version of the game. Yes, this is going to be the only way you're going to be able to own a physical copy of this game for the PlayStation Vita. Keep in mind that the actual trailer you're looking at right now is from the Japanese version because you know, I'm dumb. So Super Robot Wars X or 10 or however you want to say it is sort of like a tactical RPG where you play various characters from like the Gundam series along with others. You can even play the Power Rangers too from what I've heard, although I'm not sure if that's going to be in this game. Future DLC. Future DLC. Future DLC. But yeah, it's a lot of Super Sentai giant mecha gameplay action in this. Now one of the reasons I wanted to call this game to your attention is not only because it is actually an English physical version of a PlayStation Vita game, which we all know is a very, very beautiful thing, but also because a lot of these Asian English versions on Play Asia for the PlayStation Vita, I tend to have noticed over the past years that they tend to become a little bit pricey once they're out of print because, well, it's the only way to own an English version of the game for Vita physically. So that's one of the reasons why I would probably recommend you guys pre-ordering this if it's something that you're interested in because I'm kind of guessing that much like with a lot of their releases the prices are going to tend to go up quite a bit and yes I'm looking at you Digimon Cyber Sleuth first game that I forgot to pre-order and now I'm regretting it and now I'm going to have to go through a lot of therapy bills <clears throat> but I digress. The game does look like a blast to play, especially if you're into this type of genre and anime kind of influence, which I happen to be quite the sucker for. And uh, just a little quick note too, there are also other games in the series, which I guess you probably already had guessed because of the whole X slash 10 thing. So you may want to check those out for PlayStation Vita as well. Not all of them got Asian English versions, however, so just keep that in mind. Just figured it was worth mentioning to all you PlayStation Vita importers out there. Oh yes, you know who you are. All right guys, now it's time for that part of the video again. What will you be doing? Will you be pre-ordering this game from Play Asia, or is this gonna be like, eh, not really your style, or you're kind of on the fence about it? Let me know as per usual. And as always, anime gamers, we must forge our own path. Anything is possible. Thanks for watching. Now if you'll excuse me, I got a lot of root beer to go drink. I mean, hey, I had to redo this video after all. Gotta drown my sorrow some way.